Hey, welcome to the show of Uncensored Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Jared Neal. Today we're going to be talking about a few different things. We're going to talk about some drag transformations. We're going to do some sexy go-go boys out in the neighborhood, And we're going to talk about some events coming up, since Pride is right around the corner. So in the studio with me is Andres. So Andres, tell me, drag queen, beautiful, amazing, beautiful nightmare, you know? It, beautiful nightmare, I would like to say, because it's a little bit more of a... It's a challenge, more per se, because the first time I actually started doing... Um, Drag, I, I was not the prettiest queen ever. I mean, I can not Is say. anybody first off or? No, no, yeah. no. Unless someone does your makeup for you, then yes, <laughs> that's for sure. But from my experience, it was just like hectic. Cause not, I looked like um, something drawn for like a five year old. It was like, this is a girl, but this is not really a girl. <laughs> this is me and my mommy. Yay. <laughs> no, that was not my experience for sure. I was not beautiful. Awesome. So how has your transformation been? Like, why did you choose to do drag to begin with? And then how did you choose your personality? Um, actually, it was more, it was there. It was just because I'm a Gemini and from my birthday's in June. So it's more of a different side of me that I can actually explore that more than what I'm used to. Because as Andres, I'm very more shy. I'm very just like quiet per se. I'm, but at the same time, I'm artistic. But there's that much of artistic that I can show as, as a boy. But when I, come, I become drag, as Sandra, um, um, there's no limits for me. So it, it's more of an interesting for you. And it's funny because I actually started doing drag on uh, high school. And In high then, school? Yeah, and it went on to that. Wow. So how many years have you been doing it for? It, oof, six years, I think. Six, so that's a long time. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to see your skills coming up shortly. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so how about love life? How does that affect uh, drag? Do, do the people that you see, do they know you do drag? Or is that kind of like another second coming out? Or It's a little different because uh, I see it um, as a boy, per, per se, and a lot of people will see it like, oh, I can see you do drag, yeah, for sure. But then people in drag, um, the, the whole thing about being, making a transformation doesn't make it seem like um, it's a little bit different because it becomes something like, they were like, oh, I didn't recognize you in drag, so. Excellent. Well. We'll stop there and we're going to actually go to a commercial break and then we're going to actually see how you do your makeup and drag. It's going to be pretty exciting. So if you guys uh, stay right there, we'll be right back. Thank you so much. Would you like to win a complete makeover? In order to participate, you must like Salon DNA San Francisco along with Attitude Show, both pages on Facebook and share, and follow us on Instagram. So make sure to tell all your friends and family, and I will see the lucky winner soon at Salon DNA. Welcome back. Andres is getting his makeup started. In the meantime, we're gonna talk about a little journey we took earlier today to go see Bo in the Castro. Check out some of the hot go-go boys. Bo is one of the hottest clubs in San Francisco. It has the reputation of a great place to dance, beautiful young guys, plus the hot, hot go-go boys in town. On Sundays, the party starts in the afternoon and goes through the night. Well, almost. Uh, well, we have our Sunday show every Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, it's normally a drag show, but tonight we're doing it a little bit differently. Many come to celebrate and have fun. I'm celebrating my 30th birthday. But what does it take to be a go-go boy? It's kind of like what RuPaul says, with like uniqueness, nerve, you know, talent, and that kind of thing. But you know, you have to draw in a crowd, be personable, be charismatic, uh, make you want to watch them, you know, and of course, have a good look. <laughs> For the straight Eli, dancing in a gay club is not an issue at all. It's like a job for me. I'm, I'm okay with this. The Russian has the moves and the looks. He's at the club 13 times per month. For me, it's a good job, extra meeting, some fun. So when people hang out outside, they spend money. When I'm hanging out here, I'm making money. The 21 years old Gage went into the business last year. This gig goes well with his college schedule. It's like a side job for me right now until like, I mean, I graduate college and all that, so. To keep his good shape, he works out five to six times a week. I work out for like an hour and a half a day. 
and then I come, yeah, and then I come here and I dance for like an hour and a half to two hours, so. None of them say exactly how much money they are making, but all agree it is a good pay. All right, wow, straight guy from Russia, huh? That's really interesting. Well, let's check in with Andres and see how he's doing with makeup. So Andres, I see that you've gotten all your foundation on and you've done a little bit of contouring. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, where exactly did you learn how to do this? Um, well, I started doing this actually back in high school. I did theater and they were teaching us, especially my first time we were doing like highlighting and contouring and kind of thing, um, was we're doing the show, the Caucasian Chalk Circle. And they were back, um, the era was back in Russia too. So we had to like look a little bit like um, distilled and like very tired. And so I started using weirdly things to like make my guy structures to be bolder mm -hmm. and highlighter. So it was, it was that that's what got my attention mostly. Awesome. And then you took that and kind of decided to do more of a drag? Yeah, um, mostly when I first, I didn't really put, put two and two together. I thought like more for drag was like, oh, be more girly, more pretty, more like feminine kind of thing. But then awesome. I saw a lot of the, the queens I've seen there their drag makeups are a little bit more drastic than what I do, even though I like Great. It's more like a girl. Awesome. Well, while you're doing that, now let's check out our agenda. Sunday, June 18th at 8 p.m. at DNA Lounge, we have Broadway Bear San Francisco 2 Manuscript, Literary Tales with Happy Endings. Go online at reef-sf.org for more information and tickets. Our next event is going to be Hot Tea. That's going to be happening the day of Pride, June 25th on Sunday from 6 p.m. till midnight. For more information, we're going to check in with our drag queen, Sandra Rose, and she's going to be hosting the event. So you did that before, but then you put the foundation to remove it, and now you do it again? No, I, I <clears throat> what I do is I do two layers of um, of glue and powder, because um, that's what sets it into the eye, um, the eyebrows. I don't really care for my 20s, to be honest. I, I just want to be dirty. That's the one thing I, is, they're like, can I just like beat that pussy over yours? I was like, that's not a pussy person. That's a and no, you cannot because you use that time. Okay, I'll fit and I'm done. So for more information on Hot Tea, we have Sandra Rose here in full makeup. She's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Well, um, Hot Tea is going to be on 
Pride Night. It's just gonna start right after the parade. It's gonna be after, it's gonna start from 6 to 12. It's gonna be a ruby sky. It's gonna be a hot party. You definitely, you guys don't wanna miss. I'm gonna be one of the hosts with a bunch of my friends. And it, it's gonna be the it night for sure. I'm gonna be hot. So for hostess, you're gonna be Sandra Rose? Yes, I'll be Sandra Rose. I'll be dancing, um, kicking, whatever. You're gonna be seeing me. I don't know if you're gonna be wearing sex or America, honey. You might not recognize me. She might wear something small or short what? or skimpy. Can you tell us a little bit more about the steps you took to become Sandra? Well, it um, it takes definitely takes, for the Pens and the Queens, it takes like 30, 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Um, luckily for me, it took me 45 minutes. Um, it's just a lot of work. It's just different. You have to hide a bunch of the, the fact of being a boy because I have a very strong jawline as a boy. And just like, you got to like, put the mask behind and then bring the femme up front. I and shave say. everywhere. Shave everywhere. Oh my God, that's, <laughs> that's the one thing. Luckily, I don't grow as much as like things, so you know. Yeah, well, so speaking about uh, Sandra, how's the dating life for uh, Sandra? How's that go? Um, it's interesting, complicated right now. <laughs> um, a lot of guys don't actually um, like to date a drag queen per se. It's a little challenging for sure. Um, mostly I like to meet someone when I'm out of drag. And then eventually I'll tell them, I don't, unless they ask me what I, what I do on like for a hobby, I'm like, okay, yeah, I do drag. I'm a drag queen, I perform. It's more and more artistic view. I don't want to become a woman. Um, some guys actually think about that or they be like, oh, uh, you're a little bit more feminized and... Yeah, I, I know a lot of people think drag queens are all bottoms, yes? Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> I'll give you that, mister, for you, for you to... But I pretty much just filled it right there. Um, no, yeah, everyone thinks I'm, I'm a straight up bottom. I'm like, no, I'm not, but um, good guess, I will say. <laughs> yeah, and uh, is it true, you know, like, I hear a lot of people talk about, uh, you know, uh, drag queens date other drag queens because it's easier. You don't have to explain the culture so much. Um, sometimes, I, um, it, for me, I haven't been in experience that per se. But yeah, I've, I've definitely seen a lot of drag queens actually um, been involved with a lot of drag queens in the relationships, which is fine. I mean, everyone's happy. It's a yeah. very strong community, regardless That's what it's about, of right? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming out. It's been a blast. Thank you for having me, yeah. for sure. And uh, thank you everyone for staying tuned. And this is it for the episode. Have a good night. Catch our latest episodes and clips on our official Facebook page. And if you have ideas for our show, send us an email. Thank you for watching. See you next episode.